A rare item received in Alexandria. Good luck, Hipball. Reach for the stars. That is the description you get of Athlete Queen, should you achieve Athlete Queen Legend status. Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Final Fantasy IX. I'm the Mysterious JG. I'm not an Athlete Queen, but I am uh, exploring uh, Alexandria now that uh, Garnet, Princess Garnet, aka Dagger, is a couple of days away from uh, becoming uh, Ultima Queen of this place. Well, I'm really sorry to hear you only have nine guild to your name. I wish I could help you, but I have to hold on to all 5,544,643 guild that I have, lady. But I won't steal your nine guild, at least. Yeah, Final Fantasy VIII had these little places, too. Like, a you know, character working on a loom or, you know, the, the, the card queen's brother. Or, like, just weird little side places that you thought were going to be important and then... They never were. They were important to side quests you didn't care about. Do you think Princess Garnet is in love? I don't care. I mean, yeah, how could she not be with me? I'm glad we're going to have a queen again. Alexandrian men are unreliable. Okay. It's Nikolai. She is late. I wonder if she teached me. Uh -huh. It's Michelle. They said to meet him here, but he's late. It's funny. This kid leads outside. Walking out of town by yourself is dangerous, and apparently for VV forbidden. It's forbidden walking out. Lizard Man card. Nice. Alright. Like before, you can't leave town, but there are some things you can do once you're done racing, or if you're tired of it and need a break. The doc has a Phoenix Pinion and 300. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, well, it's the game. Uh, the, the fact is not re explaining where everything is, which I guess is probably fair. Because, um, Robert, because, uh, you know, the, this fact has already explained where everything is. I suppose you could go back and reread the first, uh, Lizard Man. You could go back and reread all that stuff if you wanted to. I don't have any work when there's an event going on in the town. Please tell me if someone is hiring. I play a mean trumpet. Sure, play a mean pimp. I'm going to be stronger, more beautiful woman. Or I'm going to be a strong and beautiful woman like Princess Garnet when I grow up. Oh. Did that wrong? Do 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 do. I think the story advances may go to the mini theater, so it's probably safe to talk to Zidane. Today you want to play cards? No? Fine. Wake up, Maggie! I think I got... Are you friends with the man sitting at the table? I think his friends went to the... School... I mean, mini theater. The mini theater was started by the last owner of this bar and a girl named Ruby. It's down to the sign maker. Last night, the play was great. I'm so glad I pushed myself to make a great sign for it. These uh, stairs have been out of order for the entire game. Alright, so I need to make sure to not accidentally go to the mini theater, because that will start the story. And there's active time events to see, like a long time no see. Yeah, 
Who's the what? Tell us. It was. He's been training to be a better uh, slave in his S and M uh, relationship. Oh, I guess we don't get to know what it was. It's so fun to run around. I think so, kid. Wait for me. Oh, what the hell? You, what, you made me lose my place. I'm still even with this guy. Oh, I've been looking to play against an experienced card player. Well, I guess we can get a little practice in. We've been waiting for this day. We just entered the room and we can... Frog has zero power. Lindbloom is powerful. I mean, I wish I knew more about how this game worked, but Frog appears to be some kind of, like... It's a trap to pick it. I get to go first, and I'm going to put... Uh, Ramu here. What the hell? All right, I'm still awesome sauce. lose my uh I would say did I lose that uh Tonberry card? For a minute I thought I'd gained two of the same card I already had and lost my Tonberry, which would have been bad. So that's not what happened. Okay. When you when you lose the uh, the opponent has the opportunity to take cards they took from you during the match. Hey, welcome. It's Doug. Hey, we don't have like a billion remedies. What the hell? <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know why we have like a billion of everything except remedies, but we don't have a billion remedies, so... Let's get that straightened out. To fly high or Artemek? Come on, let's fly high. Zidane's done himself in this time. Yeah. But think about it. He's never been in a serious relationship before. He probably doesn't even know what to do with himself right now. Come on, he's in love with the queen. Did he think it'd work out? I'm sure he thought about that a lot. That's why he's in turmoil. He looked so depressed. Depressed. Yeah. But this is something he needs to deal with head on. He needs to apply it directly to the forehead. This is going to make him stronger. You'll see. Oh, and we also get to do Artemixion. It's some kind of dark, twisted Moogle of the Shadows. And it's very slowly, adorably making its way around. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Hey, Stiltskin. Long time no see. I guess he speaks like Snake Plissken, and the only way I can make Snake Plissken talk is like, uh, Iroquois Plissken. Hey, Artemexia, why does your coat look so shiny? Well, it's none of my business. Listen, have you been delivering mail properly? Uh, of course. 
course I have. Are you sure that you delivered all of my mail to my friends? Of course I did. You sent out six. That's right. Uh, oh, Bert. Not sure what to make of that Artemekion one. While you're running around, make sure to view the Artemekion ATE as well, then head for the steeple. Okay. So the dock has a phoenix pinion on either of the side in the stairwells near the water. You may be t tempted to deliver Kupo's letter, Kupo's letter to Kupo, but hold on if you're doing the Kupo net quest because we can get an extra nut okay so i did find this out the first time you deliver because i saw this and was curious about it between videos the first time you deliver a coupon nut to that guy who likes coupon nuts you get a special prize the first time on any disc so we just got to disc three uh, subsequent coupon nuts deliveries you make to that guy just get you a random prize of you know just randomness uh like in the past we've delivered nuts and i had to like get rid of the shit in our inventory or sell them in order to receive the prize yeah, so this is... We don't care. But we're on disc 3. So the first coupon nut we deliver to that guy will be worth something to us. But uh, it's saying, hey, don't deliver it to him yet. And I'm like, I don't think I care. Because you're you're not going to miss out on the first... You're not going to miss out on the big prize. You're going to miss out on the little prizes. And I don't care about them. So Are you here to see the Duke Queen too? Do you think Princess Garnet will be a good queen for Alexandria? Yeah, I think so. Or I like Queen Braun better. <laughs> I'm curious what he would say. Oh, the hell's to it. Maybe we'll reminisce about, maybe we'll reminisce about Queen Braun's Alexandria someday. I know this is a complete waste of everyone's time. But mostly uh, yours and mine. But I, I do want to see. I, I'm sure it makes no difference. But it's a pretty it's pretty quick in this game to just go through. Once I discovered the continue magic rather than loading the game, it's fairly painless. Yeah, I think so. I'm sure Princess Ghana will do a fine job. Yeah, that was um. They put those little things in the game. I guess it's cute and adds replay value, but not really. A lot of things happened during Queen Bronze Reign, but overall it was a good time for us. That's why I put together a wreath made of roses for her gravestone. Oh, okay, so that was you. I thought that was a thought that indicated the whole town loved her. Now it's just one girl. Nothing better to do. I'm open today. Well, we don't have a rune tooth. We don't have angel bless. Also known as the Viper. Magician's robes we already have. Desert boots, yellow scarves, blue horseshoes. Glass buckles are actually pretty damn important, aren't they? We have. I'm kind of surprised by some of these. Um, but like how much we have or don't have of certain things. We only have one reflect ring. Feathered boot anklets, we don't have many of. Feathered boots absorbs earth. I'm more curious about ones that teach skills, actually. Don't send the Pearl Rouge. You have to burn a rare Moonstone to do it. 
And you can buy them later. Okay. Okay. Don't want to buy a pro road. I think my main thing is uh, what can I buy more of here? Because uh, strange men hanging around my shop. Ooh, ice lances. Okay. Yeah, the the uh, walkthrough does have specific guidance. Some specific guidance I want to buy. You want a an ice lance? Uh, cat claw. We already have. Twist headband, it says get three. Get some extra. Let's have like a bunch of everything just don't know what I'm gonna want to like throw down the uh, synthesis pit bar butts bar butts are cheap I'm thinking they were just like low quality we burned them in a synthesis recipe a long time ago a lot of money actually we have a ludicrous amount of money but we spent quite a bit of money there actually I just kind of want to make it completely clear when I'm looking at any of these things in inventory, we can afford to burn all we want of them in synthesis. Because this was like Mithril Dagger and Gladius. Okay. I think we, both of those were in for sale on the previous thing. Let's buy more mithril daggers. Because what I'm wondering is if, if either of them, yeah, okay. So if any of those things turn out, don't teach Zidane a new skill and he never uses them, so be it, but... Silk robes, I don't think we get that much use out of. Magician robe, I'm pretty sure we've got a bunch of magician robes. Well, maybe not. Mage Staff and Magician Cloak. How many of those have we got? Mage Staff. Magician Cloaks, I'm pretty sure we can just buy. Okay. So let's get at least one. My, my real concern here is that I can't get more Mage Staffs because they're just too old. I don't think we care too much about desert boots and these. Uh, glass armlet and leather wrist. Tons. Let's make sure that we've got enough that we can have...
Because these are glass buckles. These are just a really good thing to have on leveling up. Maggot's hat and rubber helm. I'm wor I worry about the old pieces of gear that are no longer sold after disc one. So Magus hats, we've only got two. And I got three rubber helms. I don't think either of them were sold over here. Just in case there's some random skill that they teach. Yeah, I think they're both like too old to be replaced right now. So uh, I got like two or three of each one. So we can certainly get one. I don't know how combining those things would get you a Kakucha, but okay. It raises fire elemental attack. The ones that raise attack, I'm not as worried about. Uh, having stuff that reduces damage of... Um... Yeah, like having five different coral rings to absorb thunder would be really useful against enemies that use thunder, right? Gold choker raises shadow. I think we just need to have one so that people can learn the skills from it. I suppose it could have... You, you... Uh, utility against the, the super boss if I'm casting really high-end shadow magic. Those shoes are packed with magic. Yeah, needle forks. I don't know how to replace those anymore. Glass power belts. We just got up the, the wazoo. Can I replace stardust rods? Don't want to make ankle. Yeah, I don't want to. Oh, actually, paradots are easy to replace, but. Magician's shoes. How many have we got? Two. Let's give one away to get a single feather boots just in case it teaches something cool. Paradox. I mean, I could get more anklets, but uh, they're not doing anything super great. They're just teaching skills that I didn't otherwise have. Feather boots teach auto float. That kind of makes sense when you think about it. Yeah, I met you guys like a long ass time ago. You should recognize VV. Oh, the two of the ninjas. We look alike, but inside we're very different. Where did my son go? He's always playing with his cart. Is your son Mario? I guess it's Tom. I guess he kind. Of oh wait, no, wait, no. Oh, I thought for a minute. What do you mean? You received a room. For the mayor. We reserved, reserved a room at 100 Gil for three nights. Uh, uh, no, it's actually 100 Gil for one. But I chose this in because I heard it was 100 Gil for three nights. Hey, Chapu. Dear, let's just pay 300 Gil and stay at this inn. Well, I have a coronation week, so there is 120 Gil for night. What? What kind of business sale are you running here? He's making such a scene. I'm so embarrassed right now. I thought I'd come and talk to you about it. Yeah, it's not that bad. Thanks, you're very kind. As long as we're not locked out of anything by being in here.
I think right now we can afford, let's go, let's just waste everyone's time again. What does the little girl say if you tell her it's embarrassing? Why not, guys? Why not, indeed? I definitely want to continue. Uh... Oh, can I leave here? Can I come back here? Okay. Not for a minute, we would like desperately want to avoid the scene. Yeah, that's kind of embarrassing. You think so too? Oh, what should we do? Shut up, Sarah. What's going on here? Come on, Holmes. Who's this kid? Who's this whispered thin fellow? We can't back down now. I mean, you could. I mean, it's possible. Well, now we're forever trapped in the, uh, you said it was embarrassing. So there's no escape now, if that was the wrong choice. We just locked ourselves out of the best ending. Now there's no way that we can save, uh, Shadow. Let's ignore these two guys, because I'm trying to find a, uh, an actual save so that if I forget to uh... oh well here's where they I don't know what to serve after the new Queen's coronation festivities oh it's the chef that cooked for Princess Garnet's birthday party would come back I've been a man of the sea up until now but lately I've been considering piloting airships Regent said of Lindblom who talks a lot like me if I would invented an airship that can fly with all the best can you believe that I wonder if they'll let me on that airship when I go to Lindblom. Do you know- oh wait, what? You know anything about Regent Shin's wife? No. Regent Shin's wife is a very stubborn woman. Okay. I thought maybe this is where I was supposed to go looking for treasure. Like they said that the, there's a Phoenix Pinion available. How much do I really care about that though? Here's the steeple. Here's the church. Here's the steeple. Open the door and there's some uh, moogles. I'm Artemikion, the Magnet Millman. You ask me why to live real properly? I, I can't tell you. I thought I'd sell you a set of Phoenix Pinion, High Potion, Elixir, but you already have them. Alright. Phoenix Pinion, High Potion. I can't just drop it or something? Alright. Video is going to go very slightly long because we're going to run to the jungle. Well, we're going to run to the weapon shop and sell a high potion so that we can continue that quest line. Or not the weapon shop, the synthesis shop. I still think they'll let us sell here. No, they won't. It was a terrible lie. Maybe they would. Maybe I didn't check the right menu. I don't think I have 99 elixirs, though. No, I don't. I only got like 25. That's how precious they are. I've only got 25 of them right now. This game doesn't have mega elixirs, so... 
That would be like that's. I don't even remember what the it's the moon something the item from Techbo Secret of the Stars that's like sells for one gold and is super valuable and you basically grind like you need everyone you get in the entire game in order to beat Hamon Cruz because he just has a billion hit points. Moon drop, that's what it is. I'm gonna buy all this crap. Thanks, buddy. I'll use the money for my next journey. He does have a pretty happy smile on his face here. I've been thinking about how the mist disappeared, but I gotta do more traveling to find the answer. I mean, you can just ask me, I know. And well, he's not smiling at all. We insulted him. Here's your damn letter. I, I don't care. My big brother sent me a letter. Koopa, where has he been? I've been worried. Because we would get a uh, Koopa nut from him, but now we won't. Fossil Root is very comfortable. I like it here. Koopa, we play hide and seek every day. The most important things in life are to work hard and play hard. Koopa. I got my big brother's doing well, Koopa. Big brother. Big boss. Artemek. Xion just delivered a letter to me from far away. Let's read it. From Magrika to Kupo. Even Moogles want to look beautiful. I use my special item very carefully. You don't come across it very often. It's very special to me, Kupo. Oh, it's a letter from Magrika, the most beautiful Moogle in the world. What a pleasant surprise, Kupo. Vanity. He's a member of the Vanity Twins. Do -do -do. All right, well, that was a fairly uneventful uh, session, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I mean, plot-wise stuff happened, but uh, what's the most action-packed series of videos that I've ever done? But uh, nevertheless, they're done. But when we come back next time, um, everything seems to be good. I mean, we probably owe some reparations to Lindblom. Don't talk about that. Fox News will get mad. But, um, yeah, I mean, now that, um, uh, like, the protagonist's girlfriend and love interest is the ruler of the kingdom that was causing all the problems, I'm assuming everything is going to get really good and calm and, and nice and peaceful from here on out. And I'm not at all worried about what Kuja said about how, like, you know, he was going to... <laughs> Well, I'm not sure exactly what he said he was going to do, but it sounded like nothing we need to worry about. Anyway, when we come back next time, uh, Vivi's re-exploring Alexandria, and it's just being a chill, relaxed adventure right now. See you next time.